For researchers and private companies alike, the International Space Station is opening new opportunities for low Earth orbit commercialization. On this mission, Made in Space is sending their new additive manufacturing facility, and NanoRax uh, is sending incredible experimentation for STEM education. Partners like NanoRax and Made in Space, they are really instrumental in, in driving the CASIS mission. So not only are companies enhancing the capabilities of the International Space Station, they're developing business models that can take advantage of low Earth orbit. When we started Made in Space, the vision was that one day, anything in space could be made in space. About a year and a half ago, we launched uh, 3D Print, which is the very first uh, manufacturing device that's ever uh, successfully operated off the face of the planet. We used that initial 3D printer as a technology demonstrator to learn about 3D printing in microgravity. That we are now, you know, kind of realizing that, that promise by launching the additive manufacturing facility. That device will be available for as many different users as possible. First time, this printer opens up the capability to iterate on orbit uh, without having to jury-rig some solution or pre-plan it years in advance. So you can you know, go up with your experiment and see results, and then if you need to, change it uh, right there without having to do this long cycle that's traditional in, in space flight. If you want to send something to space, uh, you, you, can go, you can go to Florida, you can put it on a rocket, maybe go to Virginia, or you can come here to Made in Space and give us a file now and we can actually digitally send it. That's a lot easier on the station uh, for, for the up mass and down mass, and that also gets science accomplished a lot more quickly. On this mission, there are a variety of educational payloads intended for the space station. One of the great things about NanoRacks is their dedication to the STEM education mission. At NanoRacks, our mission is really space for everyone. We've got a, a long history in the company, really since the beginning of the, of the company, in uh, STEM activities and helping our kids get into space. Really, this stuff wasn't possible 10 years ago, and the kids have latched onto this. So teaches the kids how to do electronics, teaches them how to do uh, chemistry, uh, material science, mechanical engineering. I did an experiment which um, tested how vibration impacts plant growth. I was part of the electrical, and basically we can design like schematics to make all the mechanical parts like fit together. It's unique, I mean, it's pretty rare to hear that a school has been able to send their experiments up into space. When you finish the project and you get to hold it in your hand, that, that feeling afterward is just, it's just amazing. I realized that with my skills in engineering, I can somehow impact the world. From the youngest elementary school players to some of the old timers back in the industry who haven't had good access to space, now we have this fantastic opportunity where we can take advantage of the unique opportunity and capabilities of the International Space Station. This is the reason why the International Space Station was created, to partner with innovative thought leaders interested in using the station as part of that journey.